<sighs> All right, guys. We got good news and we got bad news. Good news is I reached my $100 goal on Patreon, which is absolutely fantastic, and I'd like to stop for a second to thank all of my Patreons who went out of their way to, you know, give me that support. And I'd also like to say f*** you to my Patreons, because now I have to read one of the worst things in the history of existence. As for the $100 Patreon special, let's read the Zootopia abortion fan comic. Guys, I really want to hold back and not just dive right directly into the whole mindless insulting towards this fan comic and whatever mental colossus made this garbage, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. The actual name of the friggin' comic is called I Will Survive, which by the way is the most pretentious name in the history of pretentious douchebags in existence. But to be fair, whoever created this garbage has to like live on reddit or something like that before we get into it i want to let you know there is no I'm, I'm really sorry i'm assuming a lot of people expected me to come into this with a script but i did not write a script because i figured i figured a live reaction to what i'm looking at would actually be a lot better because like Let's be honest here, boys. What's there to analyze? Is there really anything to analyze here? In this video, I'm gonna give up my blind reaction to this comic. Then after that, I'm gonna end it with a quick summarization of why this comic is such a piece of garbage. Well, you know, aside from the incredibly stupid premise itself. Let's begin! Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm already laughing. So, uh, right off the bat, this is... I'm a little bit pissed off at how well drawn this shit is. Why is this well drawn? Okay, whatever. First panel. The, uh, the panel starts off in a random ass apartment complex. I'm assuming it's Judy's apartment complex from the movie. And yeah, you get the title, I Will Survive. A Zootopia fan comic by Borba. Thanks for creating this, William Borba. I just want to let you know, if by some incredibly rare chance that you're watching this video, I have something to say to you, Mr. Borba. You should kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. W w oh, wait, 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 wait a second. No, I I'm not joking. I'm not fucking joking at all. Actually fucking kill yourself. So, it starts off with Judy in the fucking bathroom. And, uh, what, what, she's looking at a pregnancy test from the looks of it? Okay. Alright, so meanwhile, uh, Judy's... I, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I guess boyfriend, Nick, is sitting in the fucking bed sleeping, right? Right? Uh, Okay, so so I'm guessing this comic is already under the context that this like the two main characters from that movie are like in a relationship, which is kind of weird. Like this is already under the like this is already under the frame that like a Judy X Nick fan is reading this comic, and I don't know how to feel about that. Like, what was this comp was this intentionally designed for people who ship that shit? I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep reading. All right, so uh, fucking Nick is asleep and Judy's waking them the fuck up. And uh, I guess I should read the dialogue. Nicholas, I am serious. And he's like, okay, okay. Jeez, when you call me Nicholas, it means that I'm in great danger. The fuck? Who talks like that? Well, what is this important thing you want me to know? And then Judy's like, Nick, I, I'm pregnant. And it's, I, what? Okay, so, right, um... Right, 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 right. Uh, okay, so this comic is already running under the... under the weird narrative that these two main characters from this cartoon-ass movie are in a relationship. And the fox dude knocked the rabbit lady up? And now it's like taking it even further. And it's like, oh yeah, Borba's basically looking at us and saying, oh yeah, by the way, they also fucked. And I guess we're supposed to buy that too. This is so fucking stupid. Zootopia is a fucking children's movie that was supposed to send the very obvious message that is racism bad. Why the fuck, like, who who watched that fucking movie and was like, yo, this movie would be perfectly great to, <laughs> this movie would be really great to propagandize my abortion opinions, of course. What greater movie to uh, publicize my personal opinions on abortion than Zootopia, than the fucking children's movie about cartoon animals? Of course! Mad genius! I'm, I'm such a genius! Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, Nick is like shocked and shit, and he's like, Ha, you almost got me. As if, as if it were even possible. Your nose, it's twitching, that means, so that means, hey, Carrots, are you sure? Is it for real? <laughs> 
Yes, it is. I just took a pregnancy test, and 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 then she doesn't even listen. And then uh, before she finishes her sentence, Nick hugs the bitch and then says, "Judy, this is the happiest day of my life." And it's what? The but yeah, congratulations, you knocked the girl up. Honestly, there's so many. I have so many fucking questions, and I, but I didn't write a script, so I I can't even like articulate all of them without <laughs> just losing my mind and laughing. But yeah, congratulations, you knocked the bitch up. Like, why would you put effort into this? What fucking... Ugh. And so then he hugs the girl, and he's like, Oh my god, you made me the happiest person, blah 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 But then, oh no, Judy's like, wait. Nick is like, oh, I didn't hurt you, did I? And Judy's like, no, that's not the problem. The problem is this. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna read this. Read. I think I'm gonna read the dialogue in this one point from point. Here we go. <clears throat> Problem? You mean because we're from different species? He puts in fucking all caps. You think our baby might have some problem, right? Wow. Why? How would he? How would this? How would this guy already automatically jump to that assumption? That wasn't what I meant. I don't understand. Nick, please don't make things worse for us. What are you talking about, Nick? I, I don't want this child. Oh shit. <laughs> No! I, I can't believe you said that! Nick, hear me out. Please tell me I heard wrong! Why, Judy? Why? Like, this isn't even in character for what the char- This isn't even the way the characters act in the fucking movie. Like, this isn't even their personality. Like, I'm just trying to find out. How do you get the personality of a pair of fucking cartoon characters from a children's movie wrong? How do you fuck up that hard? This is a f <laughs> This is so stupid, dude! Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain, Nick. So explain yourself. Why don't you want our baby? <laughs> There's no baby yet. I'm just in my first month of pregnancy. And you decided on, on your own that this is going to be the last month, ain't you? I... Nick, let's talk about it like adults, right? And then Nick is all, like, indecisive, I guess. And then uh, he's like, okay, tell your tale. Again, like, the, what, who? This is so out of character on a basic fundamental level. This is so stupid. Well, at first, I believed you couldn't get me pregnant. So then you two just fucked each other's brains out, right? Yes, I do know there are some cases of interbreeding, but they're extremely rare and none of them involved a couple formed by a predator and a prey. So I foolishly believed we didn't have to take any precautions. Why? Who talks like, why is she talking like this? This dialogue is like really unnatural. It's like very obviously just communicating to the audience as opposed to each other. I mean, I guess that's pretty necessary considering how fucking absolutely retarded this entire premise is to begin with. But again, I probably shouldn't be thinking about it this hard. I probably shouldn't be reading this deep into this. This is all fucking stupid. And I feel like the fact that I'm putting my brain power into even trying to analyze this just makes me equally as stupid as whoever made this. But whatever. But how wrong I was. I still don't understand why you- Because I'm afraid! Afraid? Of what? Well, in part, I fear our child might be, you know, some kind of freak. Yeah, they could end up making a hybrid that ultimately turned out to be just a really poorly written character. Like Melon from Beastars. You really think so? Why not? It isn't impossible. Moreover, a baby of yours might be a little too big for me. Which, well, okay, if that's the case, then how did you, how did, how did they fuck her to begin with? <laughs> like, I don't mean to sound like a really stupid, like, sex, I don't mean to sound like a cringy furry, but, like, if that's the argument here, then how did they bang her to begin with? Isn't Judy supposed to be, like, the always optimistic one and shit. Yeah, didn't her optimism, like, carry her through the entire original movie? Why is she automatically jumping to the worst possible scenario and conclusion here? These personalities are so butchered, dude. What is this choice of, um, what is this choice of screen tone here on, on the shading on Nick right here? It looks so awkward. He looks like a guy, he looks like he's half cheetah. But anyway, uh, so what you're saying is, Hey, Nick, even if you can get me pregnant, I don't want to have any children with you. 
Did I hit the mark, Judy? I, I don't know why you would jump to that assumption that quickly, but okay. I feel like Nick is being written to say this specifically just so it can start shit, like start like really like basic tier soap opera, like lifetime channel level drama, but we'll see what happens and we'll see if I'm right. Nick, I should have had this talk with you earlier and I'm really sorry for not doing so. And you have no idea how hard it is for me to tell you this, these things, but I must say that there is another reason. There is another good reason, I mean, and it is my career. Look at this, look at all this fucking dialogue. Why would you put this much effort into this? You know I'm about to be promoted to, you know I'm about to be promoted to lieutenant, conveniently, and if I accept this risky pregnancy, my career will be hard halted for months. <laughs> Even, I, I, I keep laughing on the side because this is like supposed to be a super serious subject matter. This is like supposed to be a dead fucking for real drama. And like, but it's between two fucking cartoon characters from a kid's movie. This is so fucking stupid. Like the reason why I'm, I'm saying stuff like that and over and over and over is because when people were talking about this where people people were like saying, oh, this is so mentally scarring, bro. Oh my God, I read this comic and it broke me. Like this is fucking stupid. How could you take this shit seriously? Look, if you took, like, if anyone who's reading this, if you read this and you were actually emotionally affected by what you're reading right now, you need to go outside. I'm serious, I'm, I'm not joking. Like, right from the get-go, the two main characters from the fucking movie are completely out of character. They're not even speaking the way they actually do in the movie. And the subject matter is so fucking stupid and so contrived that... Like, I'm trying to analyze it, but this is so stu... Like, I feel like I'm an idiot for going out of my way to analyze it, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> boys, I'm really, really indecisive on how I want to uh, approach this comic. I just... Like, a part of me wants to just skim it through and save myself the brain cells, but there's also a handful of parts that I look at and I want to analyze. But then, at the same time, I feel like I'm an idiot for going out of my way to try and analyze it, you know what I mean? It's like if Gordon Ramsay tried to do a food critique on a fucking bag of Doritos. Like, you just feel stupid for actually trying to put thought into it. Now, now, now Judy's talking about, like, how she became a symbol for inspiration for small mammals who want to make the Zootopia a better place to live. Okay, uh, the more I am successful in my career, the more they get confident about their own abilities. For this cause, and to make this dream come true, I did my best and sacrificed many things. And I don't want to let these achievements slip through my fingers, like sand. Oh my god. That's it. Your career. I should have known you were going to throw it in my face, but you surprised me, Judy. I thought I knew you. <laughs> but I was wrong! You don't have the right to say that to me! You know who I am! You know what's at stake for me since we first met! And you know full well that I did everything for my career! Yes, I do know. It seems like you could even kill our baby for your career. Dun dun dun! This is so fucking dumb. This is retarded. Whoever drew this, you need to kill yourself. <laughs> Holy shit! Hold up! 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 Okay. And then Judy bitch slaps him. Okay, let's get to the next page. <laughs> let's get to the next page. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, you fucking falls and busts his ass, and then Nick is like, Nick, forgive me! I lost my temper! And then Nick silently gets up. And I guess he's fucking off now? Oh, not, oh that motherfucker's packing his shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, that man got up and he packed his shit in all his Hawaiian island shirts that all look the same because cartoon characters always wear the same looking clothes. Uh, but yeah, uh, fucking Judy's like, Nick, I beg you, please forgive me. You don't need to do that. I didn't want to hurt you. Please don't leave me this way. I need you. I need you now more than ever. <laughs> Trust me when I say I still love you. Judy. What would have happened if your mother, while pregnant with you, had decided to interrupt, in interrupt, interrupt, okay, interrupt her pregnancy? 
Nick, it's useless. I know what you... And then he cuts him off. I'll tell you what would have happened. If you hadn't been born, Judy, this world would have been bleak as ever. And without your light, I'd still be out on the streets, living a meaningless life. That's not true, Nick. I'm sure you, Judy, listen. Listen to me. There are people who does make a difference in the world. Okay, you know what? All right, I think... Is the the writer the fucking Borba guy? Is is he an in, in, is English his first language? Because if it's not, then that would kind of explain why the characters aren't speaking the way that they would from the movie. But whatever. <clears throat> anyway, and you are one of them. Even being a little bunny, you stopped an absur absurdly nasty conspiracy and helped change the minds and hearts of millions. To me, things like these could have never happened without you. Nick. For God's sake, Judy, let the, give this unborn child the opportunity to do the same. I beg you, please let your light continue to shine through her. This is so fucking dumb. Why are they talking like they're... Like, sometimes they'll, they, they jump... The characters jump back and forth between, like, talking like the way they do in the movie, like, maybe 5% of the time, and then out of nowhere, they they speak like this is a fucking soap opera. But yeah, Judy considers it, but then she refuses. No, as I said before, it's useless. Sorry, Nick, but I've made up my mind. My body, my rules. <laughs> Look at this fucking... <laughs> Look at this fucking... <laughs> Look at this panel here. <laughs> I see. Any chance you might change your mind? No, Nick. Dot, dot, dot. Neither will I. Oh, this is so fucking dumb. Okay, so then we're going back and forth. We're doing more soap opera bullshit. Uh, but yeah, he's dipping on the motherfucker. Why didn't you keep it a secret from me? <laughs> I mean, why didn't you just get rid of your child, get rid of our child without me knowing anything? It would be the most honest thing to do. <laughs> I thought you deserved to know. And then Nick is like, fuck that shit, bitch. <laughs> it, it'd have been better for you, for us, if you were- <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is the worst fucking- <laughs> I thought you deserved to know. <laughs> if you had kept me in the- <laughs> If you had kept- <laughs> <laughs> if you had kept me, <laughs> if you had kept me in the dark about your premeditated sin, because this is how normal people talk, right, guy? <laughs> Goodbye, Judy. And then that motherfucker drops that keys in the shit, and he doesn't come back. And uh, fucking <laughs> and Judy <laughs> and Judy is like. Nick, where are you going? And then Nick, he fucking dramatically turns around and says, <laughs> Don't worry. I will survive. <laughs> the end. Oh, wait, no, it's not. No, I thought that was going to be the roll credits. Okay, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay so after that judy basically has a fucking emotional breakdown and like literally this is literally this is fucking like brazilian telenovela shit it's doing the thing where it's doing the thing from the soap operas where like at the end of the fucking thing it like just shows text on screen Nothing lasts forever, even an apparently everlasting love that has triumphed over the odds, and many challenges may eventually come to end. And... And that was the Zootopia abortion fan comic. Okay, so, uh, right off the bat, I have many different feelings that I'd like to get out. Uh, it, it, it's complete aggravation, frustration, anger, and irritation to so many different things. First of all, uh, I'm going to start off bringing my anger towards this comic because it is the most idiotic, 
uh, honest to God, this is fucking... This was legit the dumbest thing I've ever read in my life. It's just dumb, okay? Dumb. This isn't, like... It, this isn't as bad as, like, those dumb, like, YA comics that are just propaganda. But, um... This was definitely... This was definitely on the same level as bad. Like, I'm not... Like, honestly... I don't even know how the fuck I should feel. I laughed my ass off the entire way through because, like, this shit is impossible to take seriously. It's a fucking super serious drama about fucking abandoning your, about, about like, relationship abuse and abortions and abandoning your children and shit in pro-life. <laughs> but it's between two main characters involving... But it's but it's involving two main characters from a fucking children's cartoon movie about anthropomorphic animals. What makes it extra stupid is that it's not even the fact that it's like super serious matters involving like cartoon characters from a children's movie isn't even the like it's it's all that's only half of why it's so stupid. This shit is all written like a basic bitch soap opera. Even the last panel is basic bitch soap opera shit. Like, who the fuck read this and, and actually walked away like, Oh my god, that was the most, that was the most depressing thing I've ever read. Oh my god, this, this comic opened my eyes. You've done it again. You're a genius, Borba. <laughs> this was the dumbest shit on planet Earth. Dumb. Guys, okay, I need to make something clear. I am not reading any more of these. This is the only one of these comics I'm reading. I feel like, like, I laugh my ass off the entire way through, but I feel like if I keep reading, I'm just gonna lose fucking brain cells, because this is the dumbest shit on planet Earth. Like, this guy, Borba, does he have a fucking fan base? If so, then why? Like, who's a fan of this mother? Who is an unironic fan of this fucking guy? Who the hell, like, who is going out, who's, like, excited to fucking find the next big update to the Zootopia abortion comic? Like, can you imagine, like, I can't imagine someone unironically liking this shit. Like, oh, yo, dude, I'm about to go to Chris's, yo, dude, we're going to, we're going to Chris's house. We're going to play Smash for a little bit. You want to go? Oh, nah, bro. The Zootopia abortion comic got an update. I can't miss this, bro. I gotta go. Like, what the fuck? Like, get the fuck out of here. Who the hell is an unironic fan of this guy? I thought that I was going to be, like, mentally scarred after reading this, but honestly, this is fucking, this is a laugh riot. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys did, I, I don't know if you, I don't know how you guys thought I was going to react to this, but I don't know, that's what it was. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed, you know what I mean? The reason why I made this thing a Patreon goal to begin with is because I thought there would be a lot more to say, but there really isn't. <laughs> It's just a dumbass fan comic where some sheltered neckbeard Reddit user shoves his real life concerns into some stupid ass comic. It's and uh, there's a lot of parts that seem more built for shock value and WTF factor as opposed to anything else. Boys, if there's anything you can gather from this work, it's one simple thing. This comic is the ultimate example of the fact. It's the ultimate example of a very true statement amongst creators. Just because you're a good artist does not mean you're a good writer. Boys, I said it already, I'll say it again. This comic is the ultimate example of what happens when you do not go outside. This is the ult this comic is the ultimate fatherless experience, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that's all there is to it. Blacklight Jack, signing out. If you enjoyed this stupid ass video, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys take it easy.